Hey guys, Dan here from Daniel Norris FX, and um, yeah, uh, sorry I haven't really done a video on the Black Magic Pocket cinema camera, you know, like saying my opinions of it, but it's been so long now, it feels like a bit, it feels kind of redundant because you know, plenty of people have done an opinion video on it. No, um, all I'm doing today is I'm just addressing an issue which I just had about 10 minutes ago with it where I was trying out a little shot uh, by my staircase and I had a bit of an issue with dropping frames I did and right, I've, I've recently updated it to the 1.8 uh, firmware and I heard a lot of people saying stuff about drop frames but this one I didn't realize it was this violent really because I was I could actually hear it was almost like I was hearing a shutter, you know, like a physical shutter, like in a DSLR going off every time I dropped the frame. And it was quite a sudden jerk. So it was almost like it was switching off the image stabilization of the, of the lens, you know, and the inner in in bit of the lens was dropping down each time. But, um, yeah, has anyone else, I just want to know, has anyone else encountered this uh, at all, you know, this kind of behavior with a lens at all? Because... Yeah, it's, it's, I've never seen drop frames this, that, you know, that violent before. I don't know if it's because it was with an image stabilized lens or not, but anyway. Yeah, um, yeah, sorry I haven't made a video in about three weeks. I've, I haven't really, I've been trying to think of a video to make, and I couldn't really think of one to do because the weather, even though we have had nice weather lately, it's been a bit odd and off, you know, so I can't, I, I really want to do my next video outside and things, because my next video, I kind of want it to be on a jib, which, yeah, as you can see about here, this is my new, this is my recent DIY mini jib that I made. Um, I'll be doing a video on, because I've got two jibs at the moment, I'll be doing a video on both of them, and I thought I might say this as well, um, both the jibs I've made were made from uh, a pro aim jib it's the it's the pro a nine foot jib and yeah just just to let you all know don't get it it's crap i mean yeah i know a few people may agree may like it and i'm not on about pro am by the way i made that uh, i made that cock up when i bought it i thought pro am and pro aim were the same thing it's just people were mis uh, misspelling it but no yeah pro aim are absolute rubbish the jib that i had the jib, the original jib it was jerky they made it so it would only fit their stand, which meant I had to de meant I had to DIY it a lot in order to get it to fit on a normal tripod. Their normal stand cost something like sixty quid or something, so it was a waste of time. And using their jib, I managed to make two jibs. I made this five foot jib, and I've also made a ten foot jib. So, yeah, don't don't bother getting a pro a pro aim jib anyway. But I'm going to be doing a video on both of them, showing how I made them. I've Both of them run on the same sort of principle, it was cable operated. And, um, oh, oh yeah, also as well, yeah, the pro amp, the pro aim jib, yeah. The, another reason I reckon you shouldn't get it, two of the parts that they use in it, I found in B&Q, which is it's my local hardware, it's the local hardware chain, you know, including this part here, which on the Pro Aim one, they painted it black and called it a camera plate. And especially this is the part I found a bit really wild, is that the part that they use to support the jib on the stand, it's it's a what's it? Um, it's for woodwork. It is. I I I I'll put some photos up now of both the parts I found on the shelf in B and Q, and. Yeah, it's a part that's meant to bind a bit of timber to an adjoining bit of timber. You know, it's like to make a, a T-joint. That's that's all it was. So, yeah, don't bother buying the jibs. Save up and get a decent one. Or even even better, make your own. I mean, that the only reason I bought the jibs is because I thought it would be really di I thought it would be really awkward and difficult to make my own jib. But, yeah, these ones, they work better than the, the Pro Aim one I ever did. Because the Pro Aim one... There was so much play in the me in the mechanics of it that every time you go up, the whole jib would kind of go junk like that, then go up smooth, and then it would do the same when you go back down because it had this huge arm above it that would 
jerk around all the time. This, though, absolutely no jerking whatsoever. It has a bit of a bounce in it, as you can see by there, but that's more to, that's more to do with this bit by here. But to be honest, you know, with an, with a, a lens with a little bit of IS, you know, it it's fine. It does it does the job more than what is it what is it, what it would. And to be honest, you know, two jibs made out of paint for one can't really go wrong. So anyway, yeah, I'll, I'll leave the video there. I don't want to go. I don't want to ramble on too long now. But um, yeah, has anyone else encountered that sort of problem with the black magic though? You know, where it's dropping frames and you can literally hear it going tick, 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 while it's dropping the frames. You know, um, I've never experienced that before, and I'm assuming it is just with the update because it's never done it before. And yeah, so let me know, everyone. Let me know if you've had this problem as well, and. Yeah, let me know, uh, what you've done, if there's anything, you know, a way to solve it, you know, without actually breaking the camera or anything. But, um, yeah, I'm going to leave it there. Let me know in the comments what you, what you've encountered or what you've done to solve it. And also, yeah, let me know what you think of this, uh, this jib as well. Cause, um, and let me know if, let me know of some shop, some ideas that I can do for a video on it. Cause I really want to do a video on it, but I want to have some, another camera person there to film me while I'm using it, so you know, just to make the video a bit more interesting. But um yeah, so I'll, I'll leave it there. Let me know. You, let me know what uh, what your opinion is on the Black Magic on the new firmware, and what you've done to solve it, and on the jib. And I'll see you in the next video.